Dr. Dalaskaya, uh, currently working at Komodo Cyber Security as Chief Information Security Officer. Before that, I was working at Standard Chartered Bank as a regional CISO and before that at Microsoft and so on. My background, I started around 23 years ago, professionally at least, into the computers, of course security. Back then, what was cyber security, right? Um, it was uh, viruses and we had to fix viruses and uh, it came all the way to a new stage where we deal today. Uh, I have written more than uh, 16 books. I have been participated globally in many events such as Hacker Halted or Microsoft Ignite. Besides that, uh, I still, I'm still writing books and trying to be part of the community, as well as being a CISO and helping our customers worldwide to be even more secure. Uh, I think I'm, uh, I caught up very in very early stages of the CH program. I think it was version 2 or something. Uh, I was uh, attending a community event and that community event, you know, I was uh, actively a trainer, uh, being a cybersecurity professional, back then uh, IT professional, uh, attending events, uh, I noticed that they had this cool title called CEH. I'm like, what is CEH? Certified Ethical Hacker. I'm not, okay, I'm not a kid from the street, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna jump to everything cool. But when I looked into the content, into the demos, into the uh, how EC Council is managing it. It took my attention and honestly, I think it was one of the very first and it's still a uh, prestigious cybersecurity certification back then as it is today. So it took my attention, uh, I studied. I was a bit lucky because I was using most of the tools which is mentioned in the book, My Day-to-Day -Day Life. Uh, as a result, uh, I easily caught up with the content and uh, passed the exam with flying colors. And very soon after that, I became actually a CIA, CIE, sorry, Certified Ethical Instructor, and uh, I started to be part of many other AC Council courses. Uh, back then, I used to have my own company. Uh, we were the first, uh, one of the first, actually the first in Australia, AC Council partner towards the years, and I think now it's V11. It gets better and better. Okay, look, certifications. There is two types of certifications. One, where people, they truly understand the value, study, learn, and uh, get certified. Two, where people, you know, they use brain dumps or they use uh, some sort of uh, past exam tactic and do not gain anything out of it. I was one of the first group one, so I, Specifically, I mean, CH covers lots of stuff. Some of them are extremely cool, some of them are a bit easy, for me at least. So, it gave me the opportunity to see the holistic view of uh, how a hacker thinks. And um, I, I was able quickly to uh, gain the knowledge that I didn't have uh, in some areas. And uh, with the extra training materials, with extra help of uh, other books, other certifications, uh, I gained uh, lots of knowledge which helped me to move forward in my career. So, in back to your question, certifications are good to show what you know. Uh, yes, you might be a cybersecurity professional for so many years or a pen tester or you name it, but how are you going to prove that? Yes, you can be uh, doing some tests, uh, when I say test, penetration testing or some skill set, or uh, when you send a CV, unfortunately, you cannot show it proof anything, but having CEH in your CV is a big benefit. Now, I'm a recruiter myself. I'm just hiring right now, even actually at Komodo Cyber Security, uh, team members. In the bank, I used to hire it, and if you go and have check at Komodo.com careers, you will see that CEH is one of the requirements. Uh, I'm not just one of the certified one. I do also want the people that I'm going to hire to have this certificate because I benefited. If people use it as I used in the past, I'm pretty sure they will benefit as well. All right, look, we can talk about skills, we can talk about tools, we can talk about many stuff, but one thing, or actually, top, let me say top three, not one. One, think like a hacker. Uh, it gave me the perspective to look at things from a different aspect. My phone, or this phone, uh, you know, Android, Apple, or I have a Windows PC, 
Mac PC and uh, Linux PC, uh, which is right here as well. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, it started to give me, to give me the knowledge to think outside the box. Beside that, it showed the importance of uh, social engineering, human hacking, uh, which is also one of the chapters in the training. Uh, which it took my attention and um, the information gathering actually was also important part of uh, taking my attention. You know, back then hacking had five phases. One, uh, you know, information gathering, two, scanning, three, gaining access, four, clearing uh, tracks, sorry, four, uh, uh, maintaining access and five, clearing tracks. I'm like, hmm, this is actually what we do in real life. Hacking versus real life. They are actually very, very similar. So same, you can get this analogy to buying a car. You go and search your car, information gathering. You go and look at the car, scanning. You do test driving, you, you, you know, uh, what I'm trying to say is this methodology came to me from CH and I truly enjoyed it. And I use it daily in my life. I met so many smart people in my classes. They were students. Uh, so some in some of the topics they were much better than me in most of the topics I was much better than them so CH was giving me opportunity to meet smart people like myself and actually learn from each other a real example I think it was 2009 in Canberra Sydney Australia our uh, capital city I was uh, training a couple of government students and one of them came with a with a you know router back then and he said uh, you know I don't like this firmware during the class in the labs he had the firmware and he changed the operating system structure which I mean, basically he found a open uh, back door uh, and he changed it in a different to work in his favor I'm like how did you do that and we learned from each other and I'm like why are you in this class he said look I'm good in ABC but you are good in ABC D E F G and um, I asked him this question, I'm like, why did you join the class? He said, because CH is giving me the other, other angles. And again, I know this is CH, but for the beginners, please read, please research, please put your hands into the keyboard, practice. For mid to advance, don't stop saying I'm the best. An example, uh, one of the world's biggest cybersecurity firms were just hacked through third-party supply chain attack. They are, I mean, they are a fortune company. They, I mean, I, I, they work with many, many huge organizations. They not just work, they secure them, but they were hacked as well. It means there's going to be always better than, than someone better than you. Don't give up. Always study. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes it's going to be uh, painful, but the moment you give up, it's going to be all over. If you don't give up and if you enjoy what you do, you should move forward and you should be a better cybersecurity professional. 23 years ago, I had no way to think I was going to be a CISO in a global bank or I was going to be a chief security advisor or trusted security advisor at Microsoft. I could not even dream about it. And now, uh, Komodo Cybersecurity is one of the world's biggest cybersecurity firms. Again, I had, I could not even imagine I was going to be the CISO, an organization which protects other organizations, and all started with me uh, getting certified. When I say getting certified, as I said, understanding the value. Look, there, you're gonna have some people saying, "Oh, CH is not good. BH is good. Go to BH." Honestly, it's not the names which was make it good or bad i'm the example here uh, i started ch i mean i'm talking about the haters oh ch is you know i honestly this is not a paid content this is totally uh, my my true opinion there is lots of value that you each, which you can gain if you select the right training method if you spend the time on Improving your skills. If you're advanced and you come to CH, no, there is LTP. There are some other classes. Uh, so please, it's like buying a car. 
If you need to drive in a desert, what is the best car? Ferrari or Lamborghini that we all, or Bugatti, you know, we all uh, know the names. So, because you have the best car, but in the wrong concept. So you need a four-wheel drive instead of a, uh, or SUV instead of a sports car. Same applies for training. There is no one fit training for everybody. Know your skill set. I mean, AC Council has a beautiful website. I think they still have it. They do a prerequisite check where you can answer some questions. And if you fail it, if you pass it with flying colors, then you should maybe do the master class. If you even pass this, maybe you go to do LTP class. If not, you can do the uh, cast. I don't know if you still have cast. You used to have cast center of advanced training. Uh, you can, you know, there is different level of training that you can gain. And if you select the right tool, in this example, the right training, then you should be able to help yourself in the right way.